at the end of this lesson, you should be able to understand fully our two objectives. The first objective is to understand that blood is directed around the body in a set of vessels. And the second is that the structure and the functions of the arteries and veins. How are they? Those are our two objectives. Right. So, we have indicated that they are mainly two sets of vessels that carry blood around our body and these are arteries and veins. So the four diagrams that you see here, they are actually two diagrams. The top two diagrams represents an artery and the bottom two diagrams represent a vein. So the first diagram is a transverse section of an artery. When I am talking about a transverse section, we are talking about an artery that has been cut across. So if I give an example, this to be an artery, when we cut across, then that's a transverse section. The second diagram is of an artery again, but this time, this is a longitudinal uh, section cut along. The same thing with the vein. The first diagram on the left, bottom left, represents a vein that has been cut across transverse section. And this is a longitudinal uh, section. Okay, so now we must look at the structure of the veins and we should be able to <clears throat> discuss why the structure of the veins are like that. So in the case of an artery, uh, the first structure of an artery is that it has got a thicker outer wall. So what is in green is the outer wall which is thicker. So it has got a thicker outer wall. Right. And then the second biological property of an artery is that there is a narrow central tube. So this is the central tube and it is narrow. I colored it red because it is carrying blood. So the central tube is narrow. And then the third property of an artery is that there is a thick layer of muscle. So what is in blue here is a muscle, which is a thick layer. Right, that's a thick layer of a muscle. Okay, now let us look at why the properties of an artery are like that. Why is there a narrow central tube, a thick outer layer, and a thick layer of muscles that is supporting the narrow central tube? Okay. Now, we must understand that the job, the main function, or the function of arteries is that they carry blood from the heart away to where it is required. So, let us remember that our pump is the heart. So, we must understand that Arteries are carrying blood 
that is at high pressure. So the purpose of the thick outer wall and the thin layer of muscle, their purpose is to withstand the high pressure of blood. This blood also contains high volumes of oxygen. So the blood that arteries carry, they are rich in oxygen content. So an artery is biologically adapted to withstand high pressures of blood. Okay, so the walls of an artery are also elastic. The walls of an artery are elastic. So let us go back to define uh, this property of being elastic. What is elasticity? So we should remember that elasticity is the ability of a material to retain its shape when a force is withdrawn or when a force is removed. So any material that has got the ability to retain to its original shape when a force has been removed, it is said to be elastic. That is the property of elasticity. Right. So the walls, the inner walls of an artery are elastic. Elasticity is so in an artery so that the vein goes back to its original shape and size when the after every pump is done. So it resists pressure, it goes to its original size and shape, it retains its properties after every pulse. This is the reason why if you hold your wrist either here or here, if you hold uh, your wrist you can feel a pulse. It is the combination of the pumping of the heart, the high pressure of blood and the property of elasticity in the wall of an artery that produces a pulse. Okay, so the thick walls, their purposes are to resist pressure. Now, let us look at the biological properties of a vein. A vein has got a thin outer wall. The outer wall is thin. Okay, right. And a vein has got a very thick inner, it has got a very thick inner central tube. So that is the central tube, which is thick. Okay, the other property of a vein is that the central tube is wide. We have already spoken about it. It is thick. Um, it has got a thin layer of muscle that supports the lumen. So this muscle is thin. The muscle supporting the, the, the vein itself is thin. Thin. And you need to take note that the wall, on the contrary, the wall of the artery, the outer wall, is thick. The supporting muscle is also thick. This supporting muscle is thin in a vein. Thin supporting muscle. Now, so the central tube in a vein is known as the lumen. Okay, now let us discuss why is it so in a vein. And we also need to take note that when we uh, do the cross section of a vein, you find that a vein has got 
valves okay and these valves also have got supporting flaps those are supporting flaps on the valve okay now the reason why there is a thin outer wall and a thin supporting muscle is because veins are tubes that carry blood back to the heart so the pressure is low the pressure is low and the reason why the inner layer it is so huge it is because this kind of vein must it must not it must not resist the transportation of blood why this blood has lost oxygen the oxygen content here is very low what is now more in a vein is a very high content of carbon dioxide because this is blood that is coming from the tissues the the capillary veins have exchanged the oxygen with uh, the carbon dioxide okay so the blood that contains carbon dioxide naturally it is thick so there is a tendency of it resisting to flow so there must be a wider space for it to easily flow what also helps this blood to flow back to the heart are our body muscles as we are doing work as we are moving our body muscles make some movements and they help uh, the flow of this thick resisting blood back to the heart and the purpose of these valves is because this blood is heavy so obviously it will be affected by the force of gravity there is a tendency of it wanting to go down number one number two it also will have a tendency of wanting to flow the other way because um, there is low pressure this blood is under low pressure so it might have a tendency of wanting to flow back so these valves they bar the flow back of blood if it starts to flow back they close and keep it in position okay and the valves have also have got supporting flaps which keeps the valves in position 